What's good, Josh? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, I've been wanting to talk about this video since WrestleMania Night 2. The infamous decision. And was it the right one? Was it the right move to allow Roman Reigns to retain the championships and not actually give Cody the title at this year's WrestleMania? Was that the right decision? That is what people are talking about. That is what people have been pretty much voicing their opinions on all weekend long. Um, and I wanted to make this video because I've really been going back and forth. Was it the right move? Was it not the right move? There are some positives to it, but there's also some glaring negatives to it. So I guess we'll start with the positive. What is the positives of having Roman Reigns still as your champ? Well, obviously, you know, WWE seems like they want to continue the record and they want to try to break a thousand days. We have never seen that in the modern day era of wrestling, especially for WWE. And you know, WWE is all about their numbers and records, you know? So I can see the positive there, seeing Roman break that thousand day reign, something that we have, haven't seen in the modern day era of wrestling. And we probably will never see again. You know, it's it's one of those type of things. It's, it's going to be, uh, you know, I guess a momentous occasion. You feel me? So that could be the positive there. Just solidifying his legacy even more. Uh, another positive, obviously, <clears throat> is you can continue. You can add more layers to the bloodline storyline. Because now Roman is the only one in the bloodline that has the championships. Jimmy and Jay, they don't. Solo was out there with Roman to make sure things went the way they were supposed to. Really, Solo is the reason why Roman won. Jimmy and Jay, not so much. And if you saw what happened on Monday Night Raw, pretty much Roman was in the locker room, but he didn't want to be around Jimmy and Jay. He was only around Solo. And I like that they're starting to plant the seeds of dissension because now I can see Roman pretty much treating the Usos like nothing because they don't have the championships and he's disappointed in them. So he's going to start treating them, treating them less than, you know, he's going to probably start treating solo a little bit better than both of them. And I can see some issues that bring. And I, I, it, that, that has a recipe for some great things. And I'm, I'm really intrigued to see where they go with that. So it does make sense on the good side of things. If you wanted to have Roman have the championships to continue this bloodline uh, dissension, that's the best way to do it because Roman will still be the champ. He'll still be the tribal, chi uh, tribal chief. But now Jimmy and Jay... They may be, you know, feeling some type of way that Roman's treating them differently now. So that can be very interesting. And I, I can see that being another positive storyline wise. I'm sure there's some other positives that people could come up with. But off the top of my head, I feel like obviously the rain breaking that thousand days is something that they want to do. And, and, you know, it'll be a cool moment to see. And obviously the storyline of what they're trying to do here with the bloodline that's the only positives in my head i can see now let's get into the negatives on this <clears throat> the negatives is well this whole cody Rhodes situation him finishing the story well in my opinion i think the story the right timing for the story to finish was no better time than wrestlemania this was, in my opinion, the most opportune, most perfect moment that we can see Cody get the championships from him. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know if him going through this adversity arc, going through Brock and whoever else he has to go through to get back to Roman to beat him then. I don't know if it's going to feel the same. I don't know if it's going to hit the same. This was one of those moments that it was just right place, right time. I know a lot of people said that about the the Drew McIntyre match at Clash of the Castle. I could have told you that. It would have been a cool legendary moment. It would have been an amazing moment. But Roman wasn't losing the title unless it was at WrestleMania. 
And that's the main reason why I say this was the very best opportunity for them to pull the trigger because it was at WrestleMania. Another negative is we're not going to see Roman on television for a while. He's about to take a break. He's not going to be at Backlash. We don't know what pay-per-view event he will return to. So I can see him returning back for the thousand day celebration. You know what I'm saying? Maybe a SmackDown here and there. I, I doubt it. Hell, I don't even know I'm filming this on uh, Tuesday night. So I don't even know if he's going to be there for SmackDown this Friday. So I don't know. But we're not going to see him that much. His part-time schedule is still a thing. And that's been a lot of people's issues. Like, we don't see the championships much. Granted, I don't think the champion should be on every Monday Night Raw or every SmackDown. Um, honestly, he don't even have to be participating in every pay-per-view, if you want to be honest there. Because you don't want to overdo it. But at the same time, and I got to put this out there, at the same time, it's also one of those things where it's like, Monday Night Raw doesn't really have a top champion. It's really only SmackDown, and you see him every now and then, and he's not going to be at every pay-per-view like that either. And it has, it's been like that for quite some time now. It's like we're more or less pretty much just waiting for the titles to show up at some point. That's about it. They have been held hostage for uh, almost two years now. And I get it. Roman shouldn't have to be out there every week. I think he's earned that opportunity to just kind of relax, you know, and have a more relaxed schedule. I get that. But at the same time, for those who want to see the championships, though for those who want to see it on more on, you know, on more of the pay-per-views regularly, it, it could be a, probably an issue. You know? You would think he would be on backlash, but no, he's not. The most likely the main event is gonna be Cody. Versus uh, Brock Lesnar. So, once again, the titles are held hostage. And another negative to this is, who else do you have? <clears throat> He's beaten almost everybody, honestly. Almost everybody. And the people that he hasn't beaten, it's not time for them to win it. Like, Gunther, it's not his time yet. I don't even see that happening. And he's a heel. Both of them heel, so that doesn't work. Bobby Lashley, they're definitely not giving him that. He didn't even have a match at WrestleMania. And Roman had to help him uh, beat uh, um, Brock Lesnar. Roman's the reason why Bobby Lashley even beat Brock Lesnar. I believe uh, it was at the Royal Rumble. Yeah, it was at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view. Not uh, not this year, I believe. Uh, not this year, it's last year's. So, I don't see Bobby getting the job done. I don't see Braun getting the job done. Definitely not Bray getting the job done. There ain't nobody else that makes sense except Cody. And what, you're going to have it at SummerSlam? Will it be a great match? I'm sure it will be. Will it be a, a crazy crowd? I'm sure it will be. But will it have the same effect that it had that it would have for WrestleMania? That I don't know. I'm not so certain. And then, what, you're going to wait till WrestleMania 40 for him to drop it? Maybe? I don't know if you can even stretch it that long. So these are really <clears throat> like some crucial factors that, yeah, the positives are cool. You can continue the bloodline storyline, but the negatives, in my opinion, outweigh the positives. Me personally, I just feel like we're going this whole roundabout way to make Cody really, quote unquote, earn earn those championships because some people feel like he he kind of got there you know he kind of had the easy road to the title and that's a fair assessment but at the same time this is one of the few main events in so long that felt big that felt important that you felt there was some change about to happen here and it didn't i just feel like the upside of cody being the champ could be a little bit greater because you can set up some fresh feuds. You can really set up some fresh feuds because Cody hasn't beaten all the top people. So I don't know. I, I really don't know what they do here. Honestly, we're going to have to see how they set it up. It's really going to come down to what they do with Cody because you never know. Maybe at some point, Cody's not as over as he was before WrestleMania. 
So then what do you do? If for whatever le- reason he loses his steam, he doesn't have that, that crowd reaction like he has been, what do you do then? And that all comes down to WWE and their creative. But then you also got to take in consideration, and this is the biggest negative here. Vince McMahon is back in creative. He's going to have some uh, a, a lot of creative control, definitely more than Triple H. So at the end of the day, all this got to go through Vince now. And Vince may not ever want to take the titles off of Roman as long as he can keep them on there. So now what? Now what do we do? So I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm, I'm not upset that Roman is the champ, but at the same time, I'm definitely concerned about the future because they don't have many options of people to actually take Roman down. And honestly, I just feel like his title reign is that big that it should only, he should only be losing at WrestleMania. He can lose at any other event, but I just think the best time is at WrestleMania. Because that's when, you know, you can really, I don't know. I, it's, it just feels right if he was to lose it at WrestleMania or had lost it at WrestleMania. So comment down below and let me know. how. Do y'all think there's, there's more positives to Roman being champ still than there is negatives? Let me know your reasonings by, behind why you think it's better for him to still be the champ. Let me know your reasons why he shouldn't be the champ. Let, them, let me know down below. We'll have that discussion. I appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel. Road to 150K, and I am still your undisputed YouTube person champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.